In two days' time, families on both sides of the border will mark the first anniversary of the Second Lebanon War. Buildings in Kiryat Shmona still bear the scars of last summer's war, in which over 4,000 Katyusha rockets were fired at Israel. In the village Marwahin, near Gnakura on the Lebanese side, many of the buildings still lay in ruins. You have, uh, again, the fear that you think that uh, the, the war is coming back again. I'm sure they don't war, want war, and we don't war, we want war. Um, you know who want war? Just the politician. The families still bear the scars of war and are traumatized and mourn for their loved ones killed in war. Orly Peret sent her three children to relatives after a rocket struck a neighbor's house. And since losing many members of the family, Mariam Abdallah has been forced to live an impoverished existence. So they started yelling, and no, mommy, I don't want to stay in Kirat Shmona. You have to take me from, from here. I don't want to stay here. You have to take me. If you want to, to die, die. You die by yourself. I don't want to die here. I'm going to die. 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 The winds of war continue to sweep throughout the region. The army recently wound up a large-scale exercise in the Golan Heights, preparing for the possibility of a renewal in fighting with Hezbollah in southern Lebanon. Hezbollah has rearmed and strengthened its capability despite the UNIFIL presence.